Hi, welcome back. Today I want to show how to fix DaVinci Resolve on Fedora 43. So you did the upgrade to Fedora 43 and you have an AMD Radeon GPU and you found that DaVinci Resolve now no longer works. So you can set up a DistroBox container of Fedora 42 inside of Fedora 43. So here I'm on the GitHub of DaVinci Box. This is a script setup that automates the setup process. You just want to go here to their latest, download this zip source code file. Make sure you have DaVinci Resolve downloaded also, but you will need Podman and DistroBox. So on your Fedora 43, setup you want to do sudo dnf install pod man and distro box mine's already installed so it's already installed now i did use inside of here where resolve was showing up in my system i clicked on the uninstall resolve but i did leave the files that it didn't delete, I left them in place. So if I do CD opt, you'll see the resolve folder is still in the opt folder where it was installed. So I'm gonna go back to my home folder. Now here on this site, you just wanna scroll down. They have a GUI way of doing this, but really you wanna have terminal output. Now you have Intel AMD users okay so the thing you want to do is actually this right here so we're going to go to the files here go to downloads you'll see i have davinci box and davinci resolve so what i'm going to do is i'm going to extract davinci box it's extracted there i'm going to take davinci resolve i'm going to move it into here and I'm actually going to extract it inside of the DaVinci box folder. And then I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to cut it, paste it actually in the DaVinci box folder because you want the dot run file next to this setup.sh. But here you can make sure that it has execute permissions, which it should. So from in this folder, once you have your files copied over, you're going to right click, open terminal here. First thing you want to do is it needs to be able to detect your GPU. So you want to do sudo DNF install LSHW. Okay, mine's already installed, as you can see. But once that is installed, you can do period forward slash setup.sh and then just do davinci tab for autocomplete and hit dot run now once you hit enter it's going to start creating the distro box container and installing davinci resolve so once it starts we'll be back when it is done Right now it's installing basic packages, but now it's installing DaVinci Resolve. Now, one, before it gets to this point, it's going to be kind of on uh, this stuff here. You need to just be patient, let it sit, and let it wait, and it will continue. But then it's going to ask you to add a DaVinci Resolve launcher. I just hit yes, hit enter. It now is creating launcher icons and all that is set up. So just to show some stuff here, I want to do a, uh, we're going to go ahead and clear this and go back to my home directory just to show I am on Fedora 43, but we're actually going to do a new window. We're going to do distro box enter da vinci box now you see that there 
So I'm going to install fast fetch in this just to show that there is a difference. As you can see, shows Fedora 42 toolbox container image, as you can see there. Now, this way you can launch DaVinci Resolve this way. Resolve, bin, resolve. It will launch. Now I have a 4K display and I don't have the scaling turned on, but if I go into here, you just got to give it a minute and then it gets going. <laughs> so now if I hit play, so you'll see it's playing here and be very careful and not walk on. totally fine. Okay. But the beauty of this, of this is now I'm going to do exit. So I'm out of the terminal in the distro box container I can go to my KDE menu here, type resolve, click resolve. It's going to launch with my scaling for my 4k monitor actually. So it just shows up as an app and it's launching the distro box container and then launching DaVinci resolve. And as you can see, it's functioning perfectly fine. If I go into preferences, GPU, this right here, the fact that it's showing the proper name and it's not showing LLVM and all this other stuff in this field, it installed the Rockham driver. So, but as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself talking in the video. And it's gonna play totally fine. I can run it really, really fast. But here's one of the issues that I run into though, because it installed Fedora 42 in the container, it cannot see my VA API encoding presets at all, because it's actually just a base Fedora 42, which means it does not have the RPM fusion non-free to set up full FFmpeg and set up VA API encoding on the GPU. Now, my Fedora 43 has all of that because I'm using VA API right now inside of OBS Studio. So, in the next video, I will do a setup process to get GPU encoding functioning inside of the DistroBox container to help anybody with a AMD GPUs to get GPU export functionality inside of the DistroBox container in DaVinci Resolve. But this way of setting up Resolve, the key thing with this is you update your host Linux distribution, but you leave the DistroBox container in a functional state and you do not update it. You literally just have it in its functional form and then you leave it alone with DaVinci Resolve installed inside of it. And then you can update your host OS all you want and your DistroBox container of Resolve will continue to function perfectly fine. This I just wanted to do because I know YouTuber I watch I've been enjoying a lot lately is a Linux gaming life. His DaVinci Resolve broke just like mine did. You'll actually see that in a video because I show how to update Fedora to Fedora 43. And of course, DaVinci Resolve broke, but this is a surefire way of fixing it. This setup is how I got DaVinci Resolve working in on my Steam Deck, but I set up DistroBox in that in a more manual way. I believe this would also work on the Steam Deck instead of doing it the hard way, the manual way that I've done it. I love this. I love that the keyboard and everything is functioning inside of this because that has been a bug in the past with a KDE Plasma where the keyboard keys were not responding inside of the distro box container. But there you go. You can containerize DaVinci Resolve in the current version of Fedora 43. And then it'll just always work because you'll just let the DistroBox container stay frozen at its current state and not update.
while still allowing you to update your host system. But look forward to the future video for getting the GPU encoding running inside of the container for the Radeon GPU. And like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Later.